game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. And today is the week we're going to be talking about career changes by people because maybe you're looking to make a change at the start of this year, too. And so today, yesterday, we talked about the great Eric Hyden, the fantastic speed skater turned orthopedic surgeon and has an unbelievable practice in Park City, Utah. And today we're going to talk about some people that you'll recognize as well. So let's get it started. First of all, we'll talk about the first one, who is Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, whether you know this or not, used to be a limo driver for strippers. Yet he drive them to and from bachelor parties. He also used to be a furniture mover and dressed up as a giant chicken mascot for the restaurant chain El Pollo Loco, which I love. Love El Pollo Loco. And with that, then he decided to quit all that stuff and become an actor. He got into some classes. Within seven months, he found an agent. And today, he's one of the most famous and recognizable superstars in the world today. And he's not just a good-looking dude. The guy's a really good actor. How about this one? Pope Francis. Yeah, Pope Francis went from being a bouncer at a nightclub in Buenos Aires to becoming the Pope. This is no joke, okay? I mean, how did you put that on your resume to becoming the Pope? And I used to be a bouncer at the nightclub in uh, Buenos Aires. I wonder what happens when he goes back to that nightclub, if he ever does. What, what do they call him, Big Frank? I mean, he is the Big Poppy. The, this is the ultimate Big Poppy, so they call him Big Frank. I, I don't know what they call him. But as a Pope, he leads the entire Catholic Church. So quite a large leap from being a bouncer at a Buenos Aires nightclub to becoming the Pope. Let's go to Whoopi Goldberg. How about her? She went from a funeral makeup artist to an actor, writer, and she's a TV host, of course. She's one of the few entertainers to win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Awards, and for good reason. But before raking in those trophies, she worked in a funeral home doing dead people's hair and makeup. Yikes. Nah, it's kind of creepy. But that's what Whoopi Goldberg did. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, whether you're a Whoopi Goldberg fan or not, you got to admire the fact that she made an enormous transition. And how about Harrison Ford? Before being casted as Han Solo in a small movie franchise titled Star Wars, Harrison Ford works as a full-time carpenter. He apparently got the role while helping out George Lucas as a stand-in for some screen tests. To this day, he's now working as an actor and... He's also a film producer. Harrison Ford's a pretty big actor. So now let's get back down to earth and reach in the bag here and find some people who are just regular people. And I found some things on BuzzFeed here that uh, the finance editor had reached out to some of the readers to find out exactly what they did and got some stories from them on making these career changes. This is a lady that went from loan officer to social media marketer and then on to being a paranormal expert. Right? She says, I've been working in the financial industry as a loan officer for 11 years. However, two years ago, I started to start pushing an old passion of mine, and that's paranormal investigating. I've since grown an original brand and blog and traveled all over the U.S. and have networked with all sorts of people within the paranormal field. I'm doing so. I recently learned that my social media skills are valuable and transferable in the marketing agency world. So now I'm in the process of switching careers. It's the scariest but most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Here's another instance. Somebody who went from business student to airline pilot. He says, I went to university and graduated with a bachelor's in business. I thought I could sit in my office and then I realized I hated being a salesperson. My friend suggested we go take flying lessons for fun. Eight years later, I'm now an airline pilot with an office with a great view. I don't regret going to university, though. The experience taught me how to cram and study efficiently, and that skill is used everywhere, including learning to fly. And lastly, from healthcare tech to professional camper. It says, I got my bachelor's in community health and was working as a supervisor for a healthcare tech company. I love my coworkers and company, but still found myself staring outside and daydreaming. My boyfriend felt the same way. And so one day we asked each other, why are we working full time to only live part time? So we both quit our jobs, broke our lease and sold everything, bought an RV. And now we work for a campground company. We get to travel all across this great country, live and work at beautiful campgrounds. We make significantly less, but we are significantly happier. Not all about the money. 
So I hope these examples have inspired you a bit, maybe give you a, a pause to take a second look at what you're doing in your life. And tomorrow we're going to talk about some practical tips that can really set you on your way if you do want to, in fact, make that career change. And that's my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site. Go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it.